Okay, let's look at an example for the radial transverse coordinate system. Now, this is example 12.17 in the textbook, page 71. Okay. Uh, it's set up this way. <clears throat> this is a, a ride uh, at an amusement park. Um, there's a chair with an with a arm um, fixed at a certain point O, and then this is a rider and it's sitting in this chair and then just spinning about point O. Okay. So <clears throat> in this particular example, the R, the radius, okay, is fixed. So the only thing that's changing is angle theta. Okay. Now <clears throat> the position is measured by theta, angle. Okay. And then the rate of change of theta is theta dot. Okay? So this is called angular velocity. Angular velocity. And the rate of change of theta dot okay, is called theta double dot. Okay? It's called angular acceleration. Okay. So <clears throat> again, theta okay, is measured in radian. Theta dot is measured in radian per second. And theta double dot is ra radian per second square. Okay. It's simply time rate of change of okay, one another. Okay. So in this example, you're asked to find the basically velocity and acceleration. Okay. So <clears throat> the velocity vector and acceleration vector. Okay. And particularly you have to find the radial and transverse component. Okay. So here's the summary of what we've done. Position R, velocity vector two components. Okay. First component, second component, and then acceleration, again two components, the radial component, and then the angular theta component. Okay, so you have to find all of these. So, <coughs> you know, this example is just really illustrate how easy and straightforward this radial transverse coordinate system is. Because just look at the definition. I mean, this seems like a lot to handle, but all you have to do is just take time derivative. That's all. Okay? So <clears throat> look at what we need here. What's involved is just R and theta. Now I tell you R dot, R double dot, and then theta dot, theta double dot. So just write down Okay, for each, okay, the so R and theta. What are they? The so R is simply given as okay, this R. So this length, R, whatever it is, it's a constant. Okay. So since R direction is a constant, so R theta is simply zero. And R double dot is, again, zero. So, what are theta? Right. Theta is just theta, right? So, and then the first derivative is just theta dot. Second derivative, is theta double dot. That's all. Okay. So, velocity vector is just plug it in. R dot u r. So r dot is what zero. So there's no radial component of velocity in each position which makes sense. Otherwise, this chair, this rider is going to just fly in or out, okay, which is not the case. The R is fixed. <clears throat> if this goes in and out, it's a completely different kind of ride. Okay. More expensive, maybe. Okay, because there's more engineering involved. But this is fixed arm, so <clears throat> this proves it. Right? So the second term, R, theta dot, so R is R, theta dot, U theta. So, the 
this. So this is your velocity vector. Only in the theta direction. What about acceleration vector? Same thing here. Plug it in. Alright. R double dot first term is zero. Minus R is R theta dot square. That's fine. Keep that. U R. Second term. <coughs> theta direction. This r dot is 0 plus r is r. Keep that. U theta. Look at that. Hey, acceleration now. Both directions survive. Okay? You have both r direction and theta direction. Okay? So, turns out negative r theta dot square u r plus r theta double dot u theta. That's the result. Now at this point you might recognize something kind of similar to what we've uh, done before that is tangent normal corner system. In this case the exact same thing can be analyzed using the tangent normal coordinate system where this is the normal coordinates. Okay? Except the difference is U R here again points outward. This is U R. Okay? But back in tangent normal coordinate system, the normal direction points inward. Right? The U N. Okay? Unit vector points inward, which is opposite of U R. But look at this. This takes care of it. So they are actually equivalent. Okay? This negative U R is U N. Okay? And this U beta is the tangent okay? coordinate. So that's all.